Ah, Odessa, just the man I wanted to see. It's two in the morning, Odessa, you know what that means. Video time. Whoa, 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 hold on. Are you telling me you don't want to be shot in the face 50 times? All right, now you're really freaking me out. Come on, man, what's your deal? What kind of a show is this anyway? Yeah, we should probably dip. Um, Odessa? Is that your yellow blocky hand? Oh, oh I don't feel so good. Well, holy cow, what do you know? It looks just like flat grass. Oh, wow. Oh, Odessa, hey, what? Um, what's with that look on your face? What, do I got something in my teeth? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and today we'll be taking a look at the GM Blocks mod. It's going to, well, to put it simply, we're gonna turn Gary's Mod into Roblox. Yes, I know that sounds dreadful to some, but I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to show off this really awesome mod. By the way, that intro took me four tries because, well, I forgot to hit the record button that many times. So thankfully this mod is really simple. All you gotta do is go into Entities, go into GM Blocks, and then simply spawn in your character. So you might think, wow, that's it? It's just an NPC? But hold your horses! All you gotta do is simply press E on him, and you can customize your GM Blocks character. So you can choose to give him Paintball, or we can give him Pizza. We could also give him Bloxy Cola. Also a Rocket Launcher, Super Ball, cheeseburger without the e and a slingshot and then you can obviously save this to a preset if you want once you do that you're gonna notice oh i'm a roblox character and yes i already did customize this beforehand which is kind of cool to see that it does save your customization so pretty much <laughs> It's so weird because it really is a lot like Roblox. So if you press right click, you can move the camera around. Otherwise, you have your mouse here. Press shift to lock it in so you can move around just like normal. You can obviously jump just like a Roblox character can. And if you look down at our item bar, you can see all the items that we did equip. And we can equip those by simply pressing the number key. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and check out some of these areas on this map. Alright, so you actually do have to um, go through without your Roblox character, it won't work anyway. But, by the way, you can also zoom in and zoom out. If you zoom all the way in, you go into first person mode, which I kind of like, that's pretty dope. And then of course you can zoom all the way out to get a really big third person. Alright, let's go over exactly what we can do with these items. Pressing 1, this is the paintball gun. As you can see, it, uh, well, it's a paintball gun. You shoot out paintballs, and once they hit a surface, they break apart. If you guys have played Roblox, this is probably gonna look kind of uncanny. I haven't played Roblox in like eight years, so it's been a minute for me, but I used to love playing it. Anyway, let's go ahead and summon Odessa here to see if he can take a paintball to the face. It does do damage! So as much as Odessa probably loves eating balls, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next one, and that is Cheeseburger. Oh god, please. Why am I doing this mod? Okay, um, yeah, he says that, which I have not heard that in a good minute. Mmm, cheeseburger. Mmm, cheeseburger. Imagine hearing that every time you go to sleep. That's gonna be me tonight. <laughs> and next up, we have the rocket launcher. Now we're talking. All right, that is the slowest rocket I've ever seen, but it does act like a rocket launcher, so I can use it. If it can kill Odessa, I'm fine with it. I think the only thing that does suck about it is that you cannot shoot while there's already a rocket in place. You can see I'm really smashing left click here, but then again, it would be extremely overpowered if you could. Next up we have, is this, what is this, a donut? Oh no, this is the super balls. Ooh. All right, more balls, let's go. All right, Odessa, it's time. So now the question is, what does the super ball do? <laughs> yes. Why are you pissed you're getting balls for free? So yes, the Super Balls are really fun to play around with. Um, I don't know if I've ever used these in Roblox, uh, but I, I do remember the cheeseburger. Next up, we have the Cola. And if you guys couldn't tell, um, look at this. Bloxy Cola. Go ahead and press left click. Premium sound quality right there. So I think this heals you, if I'm not mistaken. You can see your health down there in the bottom. No, it does absolutely nothing. And that goes hand in hand with the... 
What? Pizza. 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 Next up we have pizza, and pizza you're going to eat. It also does nothing for your health, so it... It just... Yeah. And we have the slingshot. Finally something useful. Um, let's go ahead and throw this out. Oh yes. Premium content right here. Now of course, if you're bored of killing Odessa, you can summon some zombies. And you can see this is what they look like. Now our health will go down. Um, you cannot run, at least to my knowledge, which is really lame because these guys are always on your ass, so I cannot get far enough to shoot them. <laughs> However, with enough hits, eventually you should... There we go, there's the classic oof. And by the way, if you want to keep track of your kills, guys, check the top right corner and it'll tell you exactly. Wait, who's unassigned? Alright, I don't know what that's all about, but there's all the zombies dead, no big deal. Now, of course, this is all fun and dandy, but we can go even further into the customization. By simply going all the way down to the bottom left, clicking on this, we can customize our character. And you can see we can change the face. There's not a whole lot of options, but there's definitely a nice amount. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with, uh, let's go with, yeah. And then you could change the color, so if you want like, I don't know, like a green face for some reason, you totally could. And then you could do the same thing for the body here. Once you're done, simply close it off and you can see it updates in real time. And of course, there's even more options in the options menu here. We can turn on and off the scoreboard if that's annoying. You can also gib upon death, I don't know why that's not turned on by default. And then there's also an animation wait time, which you can adjust. And then you can choose your default loadout. Oh, look at this! There's apparently a secret item that's not enabled. So we could have had a sword this whole time. Alright, now we're talking. So the sword is pretty damn sick. I don't know why this was not enabled by default, but we could slash away. Definitely useful when you have a very close-up target like those zombies like to get all up in your face. So left click is going to be swipe, swipe, and then a lunge that kind of puts you up in the air for some reason. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. Spawn a few zombies here. Okay. Oh! Yeah, this is way better than any of the ranged weapons. All right, oh, oh wait, what? Oh, so you don't even need to slash. Wait, oh wait, I automatically attack. Let's try this, okay, I'm not, I'm not pressing left click. Look at that. They just die. And then of course I can eat my beautiful pizza. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Roblox is cringy? Do you think it's too old of a game? Then again, I mean, I shouldn't be talking. I, I still play Gary's mod. I would love to hear your guys' opinions down below. And also, what do you think about this mod? I think it pretty accurately turned it into Roblox. It's pretty damn sick. So as always, leave a like, subscribe. The links are in the description. TikTok and Twitter is Necros Videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, farewell.